Thomas's Gospel of the Infancy of Jesus Christ. The original in Greek from which this translation is made will be found printed by Telerius in his notes on the Constitutions of the Apostles from a manuscript in the French King's Library, number 2279. It is attributed to Thomas and conjectured to have been originally connected with the Gospel of Mary. The previous one shows more certain influences of the philosophy that um, included itself in the composition of Christian doctrine. An account of the actions and miracles of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in his infancy. Chapter 1, 2. Jesus miraculously clears the water after rain. 4. Plays with clay sparrows, which he animates on the Sabbath day. I, Thomas, an Israelite, with a Greek name, judged it necessary to make known to our brethren among the Gentiles. Horrible thing to call anybody who's just not part of your group. The actions and miracles of Christ. Well, if they were Jews, they would know what Christ was. In his childhood, which our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, wrought after his birth in Bethlehem, in our country, at which I myself was astonished, the beginning of which was as followeth. When the child Jesus was five years of age, and there had been a shower of rain, which was now and over, Jesus was playing with other Hebrew boys by a running stream, and the water running over the banks stood in little lakes. But the water instantly became clear and useful again, he having smote them only by his word. They readily... obeyed him. Then he took from the bank of the stream some soft clay and formed out of it twelve sparrows, and there were other boys playing with him. But a certain Jew, seeing the things which he was doing, namely his forming clay into the figures of sparrows, on the Sabbath day, went presently away and told his father, Joseph, and said, Behold, thy boy is playing by the riverside, and he's taken clay and formed it into twelve sparrows and profaneth the Sabbath. Then Joseph came to the place where he was, and when he saw him, called to him, and said, Why doest thou that which it is not lawful to do on the Sabbath day? Then Jesus, clapping together the palms of his hands, called the sparrows, and said to them, Go, fly away, and while ye live, remember me. So the sparrows fled away, making a noise, the Jews, seeing this, were astonished and went away and told their chief persons what a strange miracle they had wrought by Jesus. Of course, there's um, metaphorical import to some of this. We are threatened with consequ eternal consequences for not allowing ourselves to be guided. And we become more than these physical human vessels, but spiritual beings. If we do accept the guidance and live our lives in remembrance. Chapter 2. 2. Causes a boy to wither who broke down his fish bowls. 6. Partly restores him. 7. Kills another boy. 16. Causes blindness to fall on his accusers. 18. For which Joseph pulls him by the ear. How many... I, I've never heard the, a total given, but how many people is Jesus accused of killing personally? 
Besides this, the son of Anna, the scribe, was standing there with Joseph, and took a bough of a willow tree, and scattered the waters which Jesus had gathered in the lakes. But the boy, seeing what he had done, became angry, and said to him, Thou fool, what harm did the lake do thee, that thou shouldest scatter the water? Behold now, thou shalt wither as a tree, and shalt not bring forth either leaves or branches or fruit. And immediately he became withered all over. Then Jesus went away home. But the parents of the boy who was withered, lamenting the misfortune of his youth, took and carried him to Joseph, accusing him, and said, Why dost thou keep a son who is guilty of such actions? Then Jesus, at the request of all who were present, did heal him, leaving only some small member to continue withered, that he might take warning. Another time Jesus went forth into the street, and a boy running by rushed upon his shoulder, at which Jesus, being angry, said to him, Thou shalt go no farther. Then he instantly fell down dead, which, when some persons saw, they said, Where was this boy born, that everything which he says presently cometh to pass? And the parents of the dead boy, going to Joseph, complained, saying, You were not fit to live with us in our city, having such a boy as that. Either teach him that he bless and not curse, or else depart hence with him, for he kills our children. Then Joseph, calling the boy Jesus by himself, instructed him, saying, Why doest thou such things to injure the people, so that they hate us and prosecute us? But Jesus replied, I know that what thou sayest is not of thyself, but for thy sake I will say nothing. But they who have said these things to thee shall suffer everlasting punishment. And immediately they who had accused him became blind. And all they who saw it were exceedingly afraid and confounded and said concerning him, Whatsoever he saith, whether good or bad, immediately cometh to pass. And they were amazed. And when they saw this action of Christ, Joseph arose and plucked him by the ear at which the boy was angry and said to him, Be easy, for if they seek for us, they shall not find us. Thou hast done very imprudently. Dost thou not know that I am thine? Trouble me no more. Now, it's best if cursing to make it as a blessing that keeps from wrongdoing, that perhaps guides others. Um, that's conditional that, you know, if someone's going to repent or whatever, that, you know. Chapter 3, 1. Astonishes his schoolmaster by his learning. Well, 1 through 7, really. A certain schoolmaster named Zacchaeus, standing in a certain place, heard Jesus speaking these things to his father. And he was much surprised that, being a child, he should speak such things. And after a few days, he came to Joseph and said, Thou hast a wise and sensible child. Send him to me, that he may learn to read. When he sat down to teach the letters to Jesus, he began with the first letter, Aleph. But Jesus pronounced the second letter, Mapeth. Kagimel, Gimel, and said it over all the letters to him to the end. Well, sometimes to make it actually sound right in Greek, you need to add more letters. MP is the way you say B. That would just come out as Beth. Um, but, Beth, yeah. Then opening a book. He taught his master the prophets, but he was ashamed and was at a loss to conceive how he came to know the letters. And he rose and went home, wonderfully surprised at so strange a thing. Because, you know, Greek's a rather soft language. Chapter 4. One fragment of an adventure at a dyer's. As Jesus was passing by a certain shop, he saw a young man dipping or dyeing some cloth and stockings at a furnace. 
of a sad color, doing them according to every person's particular order. The boy Jesus, going to the young man who was doing this, took also some of the cloths. And here ends the fragment of Thomas's Gospel of the Infancy of Jesus Christ. Um, perhaps the color was more rich when Jesus did it, or something? I, I, I don't know. Um, but remember, the best to die, the best to baptize is God, so if somebody's doing the work of God, I mean actual, not just a lot of people claim stuff, right? 